everybody, welcome back to Gemma and George. In today's video, we're still apartment hunting. Let's go. On our way to, got my mask quick, um, another viewing. Um, Moline's outside in the car now, so just having a quick run around. It's a ground floor apartment, two bedrooms, two balcony, three, five hundred. Um, been empty for a month though, so there's another one we were meant to view today, um, but with the COVID restrictions, you can only see five, sorry, only five people can visit the property each day. Uh, we couldn't view till today, somebody's put an offer and then it's gone. So we're not having very much luck uh, in terms of um, finding some things, but this could be it, who knows, fingers crossed. in the underground car park there is some very questionable cars let me just show you this one here nice cars this is our custom custom Merc We're just saying I just got bit by three mosquitoes <laughs> uh, viewing that one. Nice, but there's obviously the the building work opposite it is why it's been vacant for um, a month. But the lady said that it's only got six months left of construction and it won't go any higher. So it's worth taking that into account as well when you're six asking. She says six months left, you have to do the wow. swimming pool well, and the garden. Right, right. Yeah, she says the top floor is already built and stuff like that. So I don't know. I don't know. She says six months. Um, but a question to ask, I guess, when you're going about, you know, construction, when it's going to end and stuff like that. But yes, lots of questions.
Anchorage, which is a condo that we've seen previously. Um, very good amenities, it's got a lovely pool, it has a community centre in the middle and this is one of around 700 apartments. As you can see around you, the apartment's really big and airy but it's quite dated and what you tend to find is with the older apartments, you get more space and area for your money. So this is around 4,000 but they'll come down to three and a half every month. Um, so you've got the space, you've got the view and you've got the room but you've not got the modern bathrooms. So it's a case of compromise if you want your balconies and your views and your space and um, kind of within your budget. Just got a taxi from school and going to meet Nathan and George at Gallup Gables. Found an apartment there, a ground floor, um, two bedroom, two bath. So because we've only got one week left in our serviced apartment, we're going to now have to see one apartment, if we can find one, um, every night after school. So the weather has just taken a turn for the worse. Uh, hopefully um, I've remembered my umbrella because here in Singapore, like this, um, torrential rain, thunderstorms. Taxi driver just dropped me off in the underground car park, so I've managed to navigate my way to the door. Nathan and George have been here for a few hours because they wanted to um, check out the area. Because um, this place is really next door to Botanic Gardens, but it's absolutely pissing it down there. Like, no joke. And um, I don't think Nathan and George brought their cover for the pram. So uh, I think they're a bit so <laughs> So am I like a drowned rat. Ugh. Just got home, we put an offer in with the Gallup Gables last night. Um, I think we gave 3.8. They wanted 4.2 and we went in at 3.8. The agent that we saw said um, that they would contact the landlord and they would get back to us. Waited all day and we've not heard anything until about five minutes ago. Nathan's been out today and gone to see another property. What's it called? Treasure? Treasure. Treasure place. Treasure place. Uh, near the coast. Um, further down from West Coast Park. So we were looking up here, um, Botanic Gardens. I've not seen this property. Uh, Nathan's seen it, has taken some videos. It's 3 8, isn't it? 3 yeah, 8. Three, eight. three bedrooms. Um, same size. Bigger. It's kind of much quieter. The Gables one is right on a main road. Literally, 20 minutes we've got because another couple are coming to sign it. Two couples. You put in an offer and the, even if it's like in principle, they have to, don't they, stop all other viewings. Deadline's half six, so manic day at work. Come on, this is the contract. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but I think I'm going to sign the contract for a property I've not seen. And I'm gonna live in it for the next two years. Okay, sent it to the landlord. So what do we do now? I think... 
don't know. <laughs> what happens as soon as they, um, as soon as he sort of looks at it and he's like, okay, yeah, I'm yeah. happy to go ahead. We need to transfer the first month's deposit ASAP. One month is a landlord to the landlord just to be like yeah. a good faith thing. And then two months is the deposit. So that first month we pay the landlord is literally our first month's rent. Yeah, beauty, thank you. Bye, mate. He um, just wants to confirm it with the landlord, but he can't get in touch with him right now. Okay, so. Uh, but he canceled the other viewings. We had our offer accepted and we're just going to go and head over to our apartment. If you don't see Nathan again on any of these videos, it's, <laughs> it's because the place didn't look like the videos he sent me originally. Let's go and see our new house.